Hi, I'm Delanis and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about this one today and of course, when am I not excited about my, my videos that I shoot, but this one's extra special. A couple of weeks ago, I did a, a look from A Wrinkle in Time, Oprah's look actually. I wanted to pay homage to her for Black History Month, but it was so awesome. I had such a great time creating this. I wanted to do another look from A Wrinkle in Time. And the cool thing about it is her makeup artist who created this on her, Derek, reached out and he just was so so nice about the whole transformation and he had such great kind words to say I was super excited whenever you recreate someone else's look is always tough anyway and Derek is such a very very talented makeup artist I was very very touched when he thought that the work was amazing so thank you so much Derek I hope that this look that I create today is just as great um, and I'm ready to get started let's go Ooh, and I'm a little nervous because I don't normally do makeup videos for YouTube, so <laughs> let's see what happens. This is actually my second one. I did a Get Ready With Me last week, so this is going to be pretty, pretty fun. Um, so I started out with my moisturizer. I'm trying this new product from a friend, um, Ceylon, and I am loving it so far. And so, yes, I am trying this new moisturizer. Um, actually it comes with a cleanser and a toner but I'm using just the moisturizer and the cleanser today and of course my trusty Smashbox so I am going in to prime this face and I love the way this stuff feels um, and um, yeah it says photo finish so I'm assuming that when I finish this look I'm gonna be photo ready <laughs> so with this look today I am going to have to block out these brows so oof, this is not always the most fun part but is the necessary part so let me make sure have my spoolie and my my glue now if you don't know how to block out those brows this is how I do it and um, yeah and it takes forever so I always comb these babies up a little bit who knew when Elmer's made this that it would be a drag queen's dream yeah <laughs> get it all messy And I don't have much eyebrows anyway, but I still like to go ahead and get them laid down nicely. So yeah, so this look that I am doing today is, um, is Oprah's look with the big hair in the movie. And it's such a great look um, and detailed look that Derek did. Not the most fun part of the whole process, but a necessary part of it. You can never get this always. This, this is the brow that's always giving me trouble. I'm gonna shave them all off. What about that? Pulling out the church fan. I love my church fan. What you guys think about my church fan? <laughs> Who remembers these big old fans back in the day sitting in church? Yes, Jesus, hallelujah. <laughs> I used to love these things. Okay, so it's an exaggerated version of it, but it's a huge old thing. See the thing? But it is good for drying your brows. So yes, what I did was I just put that glue into these brows and I'm drying them and I'm going to go ahead and start setting. But I do a couple of coats with this glue just so those brows stick in. So I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. I'm gonna go back in again and apply some more glue and then I'm going to start setting it with this setting spray. Oh, setting spray. <laughs> See, that's why I'm doing tutorials. I meant setting it with this setting powder then I'm going to keep going back in with the glue on top of it. So, yeah. By the time I finish, I'm going to look like an alien. Okay, so now let's set it, but we don't forget it because we need to go back in with a couple of layers of glue. Oh, it gets so messy. All right, so let's go ahead and cover these brows. <laughs> Got a little drippage right there, guys. <laughs> I was doing that for an Instagram video, so that's why the silliness. But yeah, so I am going to cover these babies. Flesh tone. There's always one side I feel that looks better than the other, but mm, whatever. Whatever. Well. There we go, I am browless. <laughs> okay, so while I am doing, why am I letting that kind of dry up a little bit? I am gonna start 
color correcting on my beard here. So I just go on with this Ben Eye right here. This Ben Eye. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. And I just color correct. I said in my video last time, I always tend to feel like I overuse products, but it makes me feel comfortable. <laughs> I want to make sure I take all of this discoloration away. Yeah, so I can imagine what it was like when Derek was painting Miss Oprah Winfrey's face and um, she saw the final look because everything pulled together, those costumes and wig, everything was sickening. That's why I thought that I would create, recreate this character, I should say, because it was so awesome and I enjoyed watching. I'm looking really, really, really orange. But you ain't gonna see no black coming through. Just makeup. But you know, again, like people always say makeup is personal, makeup is fun. It is meant to be fun. I don't feel that, you know, because I've taken different techniques from so many different people and, um, you know, until you feel like you come up with something that works for you. And it's always a learning process. You know, I'm just starting to learn this. And so for me to even be on here doing a, kind of like a follow me because it's not like a, I'm not really teaching a tutorial, but it's more like a, this is my process and this is how I'm going to create this look. And I keep saying that because, um, I, you know, as I get more comfortable with being able to say, hey, this is what you should do and this is your step, this is the product that you should use, if I decide to do that, then I'm just kind of going to stay along the lines of this is what I do and, you know, I want you to enjoy the conversation and and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go set this baby. <laughs> you should see my setup here. I have like a mirror here, a mirror there, and my my monitor here, and another mirror. So I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss no steps. <laughs> And I can see what I'm doing from each angle. Now that this is set and I look crazy, I'm gonna go off camera and trace out these eyes because I'm not gonna sit here and do it here. <laughs> Cause it's gonna be very meticulous and it's going to take time to recreate that eye that Derek gave Oprah in the movie. Okay, so I'll be back. All right, so we have these eyes traced out. Can we say the same as we say for brows? They're not twins, they're sisters, cause they're sisters. <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely not twins. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to go in and just kind of start to fill out these brows. Um, or fill out these eyes, I should say. Um, yeah, so I'm going in with this e.l.f. black. I don't know if you call it black paint. <laughs> but this is what I'm doing. I'm going in with this. And I'm going to start right here over that eyelid. and carefully placing it on that lid here. But I'm gonna go back and trace over that line anyway, those outside lines. So if I go over just a little bit, I have a little jiggle room. I just booked my ticket for Europe. So I am going back to Europe again in May, like I did last year. And I'm going to do workshops. So I am really excited, of course, as always. So y'all better be ready, Europe. I'm coming for you again this year. Going in with this, I'm going in with Manny MUA, Life's Drag palette, and the color of black, or shady. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna fill this in and smoke it out, dark it out a little more. I'm such a Virgo. I am such a perfectionist that I'll keep going in, fixing stuff and fixing stuff, and then I get to the point where I'm like, ah! Don't mess it up. All right, Galen, this is not gonna be perfect. I'm sure if Derek was sitting here with me right now teaching me this, he would say the same thing because we're not perfect as human beings and makeup is not gonna always be perfect, but you do your best to get as close as possible, right? I'll go ahead and do the glitter first because I don't want all that fallout and I definitely don't want fallout on my glitter, oh, sorry, on my, my um, what you call this, foundation. I am going in. I've already started actually. I left you. I started already. Going in with this glitter. And I'm using this new product that I have from, well, it's new to me. 
uh, from NYX, NYX. Um, it's a glitter primer, so that's what I am using for this look. Okay, I am gonna go in with my foundation with my NARS, which I love to use. I always find that this product is very, especially, I think this is the newer one that came out when I got it, not too long ago, or the end of last year. And it's very lightweight, so it really feels nice, um, as if there's nothing on my skin whenever I'm wearing NARS, so. Yeah, 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 I love this brand. And I started using this because my makeup artist that works on me um, uses NARS. Um, he used to use NARS on me. And um, yeah, I love the product and it's pricey, but it's worth it. I always wet my beauty blender. I like to use a beauty blender as well because it's just an easier application for me. I just press this in two and you see that orange starts to disappear. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we have that foundation on and I'm feeling a little oily here. Um, I'm using a different moisturizer today so that could probably be some of the reason, but um, yeah, so uh, well, let's go ahead and conceal, baby. I have this really, really cute little thing I love to use. It's like a painter's thing. That's kind of like a good little uh, makeup little thing I use to take the makeup out of the, the container, so. Just want to show you guys, I got it from the dollar store. Uh, wait a minute, a dollar and 21 cent store. Uh, but it's really handy, it's cute. And I'm using this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. <laughs> I look crazy, but that's okay. That's okay, we gonna do this. So I was in the store today and um, I was shopping for some lashes, but I had gone to another store, I was in the mall. And I was going, um, just kind of looking at this new store that I just saw in the mall. And guess who I ran into? My good old friend, Miss Viola Davis. <laughs> yeah, um, she was just in one of those stores shopping and doing her thing on a Saturday like everybody else. I didn't say anything to her because I didn't want to bother her, but... I love Miss Viola Davis. She's really fierce. She's a fierce one. She was just kind of like dressed down like every other person, which they are. I mean, you know, I'm in the industry and so I work, I work with a lot of celebrities and you know, most celebrities are really down to earth. I mean, it's not, not many of them do you get are, <clears throat> well, I guess it depends, but you know, most ones I've worked with have been so amazing. It was good seeing her today doing what, you know, what she does normally, probably on the weekend, is kind of shop or relax and dress down and be human, right? We see people on television and we, we think that they're, you know, different from what we are, but they're really the same. And they've all had to work to get to where they are today, right? All right, kiddos, I am going in with one of my favorite products to set with, and it is a fairly inexpensive drugstore brand. I think I saw it for like, what, seven something or eight something? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and set these under eyes and my T-zones, everything that I just did a highlight on, I am going to set with my uh, damp sponge with powder. And you know, interesting enough, I didn't know, I was watching a tutorial not too long ago and I saw this person using a damp sponge for some of the powders and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool, let me try that. And I actually liked it, so I've been doing this for a while now, um, setting with with um with a with a damp sponge. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my contour. So now usually I use a I think I'm gonna use a little bit of both. Normally I do with a powder powder um, contour, but I think I'm gonna go in with a cream today as well. Only because this is more of a dramatic look and so I really wanna make sure that contour cuts.
gonna go back in with this Morphe that I love to use. And I'm just gonna kind of start to blend those contours out. There we go. Yes, yes ma'am. See what I'm saying? See what I'm talking about? Uh, I am going in with my NARS to do another highlight under my eyes. But it is about to get serious because I got this wig prep on so you know what's coming. Yes, we're throwing on a Gilda, as my friend loves to call it. Bring these babies out. I love this part. This is actually one of the favorite parts. My most favorite parts of the whole process, just to bring those eyes out. It's like, oh! You're truly painting a mask on your face. So I'm gonna go in with this continuous setting mist from Morphe, I love this stuff. And I'm um, just kinda of let it sit, sit in a little bit before I put the rhinestones in actually. It's a nice little breeze here. Where's my church fan? Oh, oh, there we go. There we go, here's a church fan. Oh, wrong way. Whew, look at that. Wow. It just brings everything out. So I am going in with the jewels that she uses for her eyebrows. <laughs> this takes some time, so. Ooh, give me a moment, give me a moment. It's gonna take a little time to do this. So I'll do a little bit on camera, then I will go off and I will finish this baby. Um, of course, it's very hard to find exactly what Derek used on Oprah in the movie, but I found something that I felt was similar. So it's gonna, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start this process. But I do, to stick. this does have something to stick with, but I'm not gonna use that. With the jewels, I am going to go in with some hair bond glue. <laughs> now, I don't suggest using this because this is not really for the face, I guess. But definitely not for the eyes. I use it for the eyes. It's a drag queen trick. Um, I do use it for the eyes for my for my lashes because it's just a stronger, quicker hold. Um, but I don't suggest it you can't suggest it because it's not for the eyes but I use it for the eyes um, yeah this is some good stuff yeah so I am going to use that this will take some concentration some concentration on my part so no talking I think it's even maybe I think it does a star next so I have some stars I have some stars cuz I'm a star cuz I'm a star I have some stars that's a big old star we're gonna do our best <laughs> I want to finish the rest off camera. Yes, I did it! Whew. These things were tough. I hope it's centered. It looks centered to me. <laughs> so I am going to go away and finish up this look, add some lashes and wigs, that Gilda, and finish up everything that I need to finish up, and I will come back to you guys with the final look. Okay, so I know I said that I was coming back with a full look, but... I need to do my lips on camera for you guys, or at least some of my lips on camera for you guys. Look at these lips, y'all. Mm. <laughs> so, yes. Here we go. And voila, the finished look. <laughs> I had such a blast recreating this look from the movie A Wrinkle in Time. Um, I just wanted to pay homage to Miss Oprah Winfrey and thank you so much, Derek, 
her makeup artist for inspiring me, um, your kind words on my first look that I recreated. Um, so I wanted to do it again and I think I did okay. It's always fun to be inspired and again I love to play with makeup and just, just have a good time. Thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me. It was not an easy look and it took a long time. I'm just so happy that I was here to experience it with you guys. Um, again, thank you so much, Oprah. Thank you, Derek, her makeup artist. You guys are amazing, you rock. And if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to this channel and press that bell notification so that you may get any notifications for videos that I may upload. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.